Hi folks, I hope your new week is off to a great start. Well, another day, another 10 puff pieces from Megan's PR. They're at it again, and now they're trying to convince us that Megan and Harry really are very close with Beatrice and Eugenie, but the palace just can't stand it, so now they're trying to cause problems between Harry and his cousins. A couple of days ago, The Mirror ran an article with the headline, Harry and Meghan's new royal feud is close bond with cousins under fire from palace. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle could be on the cusp of a new royal feud as the king and the palace worry about their ongoing close bond with princesses Beatrice and Eugenie. So already, they're setting it up. The palace are going to be the evil villains who don't want Harry and Meghan to be happy. And then Beatrice and Eugenie, well, they're just some innocent princesses caught up in this nasty fight. The Mirror reports, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle could have a new royal feud on the horizon as the king and the palace worry what the couple could find out amid their ongoing close bonds to some of their relatives. What are they talking about? Worried about what Meghan and Harry could find out? I mean, if Beatrice and Eugenie don't tell them anything that's not their business, they couldn't find out anything. Just because they have a relationship with a couple of members of the family doesn't mean they're going to find anything out necessarily. But of course, we are talking about the Harkles, so I'm sure any relationship with the Harkles involves giving them something they want, i.e. dirt on the royal family. All right, so then the article continues. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped back as senior working royals in 2020, with them moving to Montecito, California shortly after their bombshell announcement, setting up life in America with their son and daughter. Meghan and Harry have kept a distance from the palace, or so it seemed. <laughs> what is with this clearly written by Meghan Markle article? I mean, my goodness, or so it seemed. Now, we've talked for a while about there being a mole, probably Eugenie, but I don't think that's what this article is referring to. I mean, clearly, the toxic twosome are just so desperate to maintain their connection to the royal family, and that's why Megan's PR is putting out this ridiculous puff piece. Moving on, Molly Quirk, writing for The Mirror, says, But now it has been reported that, despite the couple being estranged from their family, they have remained close to two of Harry's relatives, with whom his close bond goes back decades, with them having long been confidants of his, too. Oh, okay, the plot thickens. I guess we're supposed to get all excited and wonder who could they possibly be talking about. I think everybody at this point knows the only two members of the family, the only one member actually, I'm not convinced about Beatrice, the only single member of the family to have anything to do with Meghan and Harry since Megxit really, is Eugenie. But according to an insider, who probably is Madame Markle herself, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have remained very close to Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice, which has left the royal family worried about what palace information the Montecito-based duo could end up hearing, as per Heat magazine. And now the point of the article becomes a little clearer. Meghan wants to convince the palace that she's got the dirt. That even though most members of the royal family want nothing to do with the Harkles, Beatrice and Eugenie are there, spilling all the juicy gossip. Yeah, right. The article continues with, The Duke and Duchess are said to have caught up with Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooksbank recently with reports even claiming they jetted off to Portugal together where they had a wonderful time. It was also revealed that Harry and Meghan are even planning on hosting Eugenie and Jack in California over the holiday season. I'll believe that when I see it. I don't think there is any way on earth Eugenie and Jack are going to give up spending Christmas at Balmoral to go to California and stay in that weird Olive Garden McMansion with a couple of lunatics and invisible children. I don't believe it. I'll believe that when I see it. And then, my favorite part of the article. They've got so much in common, the kids, a shared interest in philanthropy, and Harry enjoys offering advice to his cousin about how to further her career, while Megan's great with parenting, lifestyle, and nutrition, the insider spilled. Oh, okay then, really? Okay, so first of all, what career advice is Harry going to be giving you, Janey? This man has never held down a job in his life. I mean, this is a couple who, after spending two days in New York, had to fly to the Caribbean for a vacation because they were just exhausted from that two days of work. 
If Eugenie is turning to Harry for career advice, then she must be a lot more lost than I ever suspected. I don't believe anybody should ever take career advice from Harry, this unemployed 40-year-old man. But perhaps even funnier than that is the idea that Megan is going to be giving advice on parenting, lifestyle, and nutrition. Oh, okay. So parenting. Let's talk about that one first. Megan is giving great advice on parenting. What? Like how to abandon your children and neglect them and never be with them? How to wear a moon bum and convince everybody you have kids when you don't really have them? What advice could she possibly give? I mean, Eugenie and Jack have real children. We've seen photos of them. We've even seen photos of their faces. So I don't believe they're going to be asking Madame Markle for any advice on how to be a good parent. And then what about lifestyle? Okay, so let's think about what kind of lifestyle advice Madame could give. Well, she could give advice on how to be a yacht girl. She knows a lot about that. She could give advice on how to make celebrities hate you. She's really good at that too. Um, she's really been stressed out lately, so I guess she could give advice on that weird stress patch she was seen wearing. And what else? Probably candles, since she's going to start this online venture similar to Gwyneth Paltrow's. I would guess she's been having some vagina-scented candles made in preparation for that. And look, I know what you're going to say. Gwyneth already did that. Megan doesn't need to copy her. Well, of course she doesn't need to copy her, but <laughs> that never stopped her before. Good ideas, bad ideas, she'll copy them all as long as it means she doesn't have to come up with anything original. Oh, and of course, nutrition, because who wouldn't want to look like that with the boxy body and those chicken legs and toothpick arms? She knows how to diet. You know, actually, I read somewhere that she's been taking that new weight loss drug, Ozempic, or however you say it. I would believe it. I mean, the woman looks horrible. She looks so malnourished. Her face is all sunken. She's got those dark circles under her eyes. But sure, she's going to be giving advice on nutrition. So then the article goes on to insist that they really are close with Beatrice and Edo too. So they write, Eugenie isn't the only relative still close with Prince Harry and Meghan though, because Harry's other cousin Beatrice is quite fond of the duo, as is her husband Edo. And according to a source, the two sisters have shown loyalty and compassion to Meghan and Harry. But this bond is said to be causing a stir inside the palace, with them supposedly worried that the friendship could lead to a new royal feud. Speaking to the outlet, an insider said, For the King, Camilla, and the Waleses, it's rather unfortunate that Eugenie and Beatrice are so close with the Sussexes. These fears are cropping up because Beatrice and Eugenie are still privy to a lot of what's happening inside Buckingham Palace. And here we have it, my friends. The threat. That's what this article is all about. Meghan Markle wanted to make sure the royal family knows, even though it's not true, that she knows what's going on. She knows their secrets, and they should be worried. No, they shouldn't be worried. Come on now. I don't think Beatrice and Eugenie even know a lot of what's going on. And even if they did, I'm sure they're not really telling Meghan and Harry, at least not Beatrice. I think Eugenie in the past did tell them some stuff she probably should not have. But at this point, no, I think she's learning to avoid them too. I mean, those York sisters, they know who to support, and they know it's not Harry and Meghan. Look, the York sisters are not dumb. They're not going to be ruining their relationship with the rest of the royals just to support Harry and Meghan. Why? Why would they do that? What have Harry and Meghan done for them? Nothing. I mean, this whole article is just another puff piece from Meghan's PR. And the funny thing is, she just keeps on putting this stuff out there, expecting us to eventually believe it. That eventually we're going to forget everything we know and we're just going to accept this as fact. And you, what do you think of the relationship between Meghan and Harry and the York sisters? Please let me know your opinion below in the comments section. Before you go, don't forget to like and share this video with anybody else who would enjoy it. And please, if you did not already, don't forget to hit that subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll be back to see you in the next videos.